not watching Best Review TV. What's good, what's good? Who do we have on Best Review TV today? Man, you got the best podcast in the world, and you got keeping the G with KC. You got your boy KC, man. It's your boy Leek, man. We on this motherfucker. You the best. Well, it's good. It's good. See, I see you got the best podcast in the world, right? Yeah. Let's, let's go back to the introduction. Let's start. Let's start from the beginning. How did that even get to the point where y'all wanted to start a podcast? Let's well, a to be people. honest, I I I was chilling. You know what I mean? I came up with an idea because I'm like. When I was in college and even in high school, I would chill with my guys, you know what I'm saying? We would be chopping up, having interesting conversations about anything, rather it be sports, rather it be drip, rather it be making money, rather it be anything current that's happening in the times, music, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. So I'm like, bro, I feel like if I started the channel, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. we talk shit like that and talk about something interesting that we feel like we fuck with that's interesting to us, mm -hmm. other people might follow and fuck with the shit, you know what I mean? So I started this shit off doly at first, you know what I mean? and. I made my first bit video with my um, first camera man. His name was uh, RJ. He do I forgot his business called, but he do a lot of photography around the town and shit. So started off for him, you know what I mean. And I made my first video with uh, GTA Jigga and my boy uh, Cheeks, bro. Mm. That shit did a couple numbers, and everybody in the town was fucking with it. And people gave me some advice and was telling me like, yo, you need to uh, like get a coach or something. Mm. So I got a couple guys that I fuck with, some of my intermediate fan, my friends and shit that I fuck with. But I was like, um, who, who who would really fuck with my shit and really, you know what I'm saying, help out and be a real good contribution to what I got going on? Mm. Couldn't think of nobody better than my boy Leek, so run my boy Leek upon and this shit just keep growing every day, bro. Nah, right, that's fire, that's fire. So, okay, a lot of times people talk about starting a YouTube channel, starting a podcast. You know, everybody always wants to be an entrepreneur, but yeah, for sure. that, that hard stuff is always making that move, right? Yeah. Talk about that process for you and give people advice that, like, in the same position as you that they don't know where to start from and, like, how you went about, like, oh, okay, I want to start. All right, so basically, like, it's funny you ask that because I always talk to you with this story and shit, but, like, to be honest, the, my best advice is don't step, don't sleep on it for too long. You know what I mean? You know how people think about doing something, I'm going to do this at this time. Bro. Nah, do it right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The best thing to do is get started because once you get started, mm -hmm. you got to figure out the bumps and bruises before you even mm -hmm. pop and do what you really want to do. Because mm -hmm. most likely, once you start something, you're not going to pop automatically. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to still you gotta perfect your craft. You know what I mean? You got to do your research or, or just watch other people that's doing what you're trying to do and try to pick up some pieces from them shit. You know what I'm saying? For like... For instance, for me, I watch uh, Million Dollars Worth of Game. Mm -hmm. So I was watching Wallow and Gilly do their thing and shit. I'm like, shit, I could do some shit like that. You know what I mean? So I started doing interviews with local business owners and, you know what I'm saying, musicians and, and people like that, athletes and shit in the town, and started my shit like that, like I said. So my best advice is just, just start it. You know what I mean? People could dwell on it and talk about it all day, but it take niggas forever to start it. Just don't dwell on it for too long. My, my advice is just get that shit started as fast as possible. No, and when starting it, I ain't gonna lie, he talked about Wallo and Gilly. Like, they was somebody, before he even hit me with this podcast idea, they was somebody I was already watching type shit, but I looked at it from a different point of view. I never thought I'd be the one probably yeah, interview asking, people interviewing right. people, asking, digging people with life like that. I always just, you know, aspire to be somebody that somebody would try to learn from. You know what I'm saying? So... This shit being on this side when you hit me, I ain't know how to, I ain't know how to go right, about it. Right? Yeah. All right. So being that the, I want to say like the podcast, like everybody wants to start a podcast, this shit, this shit starting to become oversaturated, right? Yeah. So right now it's coming to the point where like you got people, topics going to be talking about. How'd y'all go about saying, okay, I want to do interviews instead of talking about fashion, or I, I want to do interviews instead of, instead of just like a sports podcast? Or how'd you go about picking on what you wanted to talk about on the daily? Uh, the, the, the interview part. Mainly came off of what I was watching a million dollars with the game. I thought that, that was a good idea to do. Mm -hmm. And like the way I come up with my topics is I like just interviewing people that I, I probably know a little bit about, or if I know a lot about them, it's good because it's probably if I know a lot about them, I still probably never met them before. So right. it's a lot of questions like you asking a random person that you never met before. Like mm -hmm. say if you what well, if you met one of your favorite rappers, what questions would you mm -hmm. ask them? So it's like that with me when I'm interviewing right. people. Like it's good to dive in. And I, I just come up with some crazy questions that I just want to know about you. And I ask about it, and sometimes I um, <clears throat> use the same questions or change it up in different ways, or right. ask different questions, or you know what I'm saying. I just come up with, I brainstorm. Really, we started off by trying to like structure. Oh, I should ask this amount of questions, or I should ask these questions. But me and Malik found it better to just you know brainstorm and just cook up off the top. Like it's just a brand right. new conversation. Like how would I ask you if I never met you? Or, What's your name? Where'd you start doing your business, sir? How long you been doing it? What's your favorite parts about it? You know what I'm saying? It all just flowed, bro. All right, so let me ask you this question. 
Because a lot of people, when it comes to being on camera and being in real life, it's two, to to it's two totally different things, right? Yeah. So say you invite somebody over, you might not know them from a can of paint. How do you break that ice or break that barrier where y'all get them, where you get them comfortable enough to start a conversation? I feel like that's where a lot of people struggle with. They get camera shy. Yeah. You, you're not familiar with people, so you don't know what to ask. You don't know how far to go with questions. Like, how y'all go out picking, all right, this is the right question to ask. Maybe I shouldn't ask this question. Breaking, I feel like breaking the ice is just easy. Like, we ain't on, like, we easy, easy people. Yeah. Like, so, like, me and bro got nine to fives right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we deal with people each and every day. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just a conversation. We, we obviously got some interest, you know what I'm saying, in what you got going on. Yeah. And we, I guess, what you said, your whole goal was that you wanted to build something in the rock that nobody kind of had. Like, yeah, kind of, yeah, like, yeah. you said the radio, you, you wasn't jacking what the radio had so, going on no, each and every day. That's another thing, like I be saying, like, I, I, I don't just be stuck on one specific thing, you know what I mean? I'm always trying to do something new and trying to push my business or try to push yeah. what I got going on a little further. So, like, yeah, I said I wanted to start a radio station because it's like, we got radio stations in the rock, but it's like they ain't really playing the shit I'm, I'm I'm really fucking with like that. You know what I'm saying? It might be one or two songs here and there, but I hear the same songs all the time. So I'm thinking I might start some shit like that. So like I'm always thinking the next best thing. But my, my thing to making people feel comfortable is like for most of my interviews I'm doing in the crib, you know what I mean? So for, for one, for me to even invite you into my crib, you should know that I'm welcoming and you know what I'm saying it should right. be a warm environment. I also I also like to make me and my me and wife like to make sure people eat good. You know right. what I'm saying? Sure right. Every time you come here, you know, you know, anybody right. that ever been interviewed on Keeping the G with KC, you gonna eat good. You right. know what I'm saying? We're gonna make sure y'all got everything y'all need as far as food, drinks, whatever you need, hospitality. Right. I, I, I greet you with open arms, you know what I mean? Alright, so one thing a lot of media outlets do or interviewers do is they up to, they ask them tough questions. But you like as I as like as long as I've been knowing you say you don't want people to ask them tough questions, you don't want yeah, I'm not trying to focus on the right, negativity, right? Right, right. And so. being and being that that's like that the eye eye catcher or something that catches people's attention and that could get you millions of views, like that's the shit everybody gonna pop into. Why did you not take that route and said, nah, I'm gonna do this the hard Because a lot of times even like even the biggest Come be at the Breakfast Club. They ask the tough questions that everybody want to hear, but y'all, yeah, y'all yeah. don't be trying to be on that type of time. Cause that's not what I want to delete it by. You know, that's just not who I am. I don't really care about your negative, your negative part of your life. Right yeah. now. Not I'm, even negative, but the drama. The yeah, don't capture people I don't like drama. That's why. I don't, mm -hmm. Me and Leek don't promote that shit. We right by the drama. We ain't here for that. We here There's to so promote. So much more other shit. Yeah, we, doing, bro. Our podcast is just to promote your shit. What you got going on and push that shit further. Right. Cause I know a group of people that you may not know. And so will Leek. Yeah. And vice versa, you may know a group of people that I. I may not know that really right. might fuck with my podcast. And it's so, already enough shit fighting against us as a whole anyways. What's the we, point? Like, we ain't into that. We no, don't even care about that. But that's not what we're promoting. I, I wanted to lead that on and tell people that that's not what we about. You know? We're going to eventually get there. You yeah, know what I'm we don't. And at this time, what we saying, this is what we was all just talking about, the process. Yeah, we're trust the process. That we're right. building with each other. It's all yeah. about getting started. You know, that's not what we wanted to do. Like, we stuck to our guns and said, fuck it. Yeah, there's people around us that's doing familiar things with YouTube and some of them do the negativity and react to negative shit and they shit blow, but we stuck to our guns and did our thing right. and our shit is where it's at today and we we doing we doing our thing. So it ain't against to nobody. Nah, no hate to nobody. If that's your route, that's what you fuck with, that's that's the that's the route you chose right. to take, that's so be it. If it worked for you, I ain't never hating to nobody. I'm focused on what we got going on over here. Alright, now talk about that, right? You like I said, negativity uh -huh. Before we was interrupted real quick, but we back. So we will just talk about like not one of the negativity, right? Yeah. So with that process, like it's gonna take you a harder time to build views, up, right? Sure. So when you first started, right? Talk about the process, your mind, like your mindset, cause you feel me. When you when you do vids like and YouTube vids and the numbers not coming in as much as you wanted to, that kind of gives you that kind of puts you to give up. You said oftentimes a lot of people think oh, I'm gonna do YouTube, I'm funny, and yeah. when they drop their first vid, it doesn't do as many numbers they want, yeah. and then they just stop. What kept you going consistent this whole time? I would say what kept me going is my 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 belief in my what I'm doing, mm -hmm. my belief in my process, and I would say like the the supporters that I did have before I blew up, like it was people that was telling me I fuck with that shit, but keep it going, even when I only had 50 views. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fuck with your shit, keep it going, bro. Mm -hmm. You should you should uh, interview such and such as people from my town that really was showing me some love too, and then it was just like people like you that really didn't know much about us, but you saw one video it was like I see potential in this shit, I mm -hmm. fuck with this shit, like. He talking real shit, it's just he gotta get a different like a group or something. Like, mm. A little tweak here and there that you mm. helped me get to. Like a lot of my shit, I ain't gonna lie, it's cause you helped me out with a lot of shit. Like me, me and your collab is what helped me get to where me and Lee got today. Mm -hmm. So just like 
networking, you know right. what I mean? And, and talking to people that's been doing this shit before us and getting advice from niggas from the towns that have been doing shit. Like, right. some of the people I reached out to, I reached out to a nigga that does uh, his, his shit in, in um, Houston, London's way, bro. Shout out to him. Way before I even started, I'm like, yo, bro, because I was trying to figure out if me smoking weed on the, on, 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 on the podcast, on YouTube would be an issue or me cursing or saying this and that because I heard there was ways that I yeah. could get blocked or right. not being able to promote or put certain things on there because of what I do. And I'm like, shit, I'm not no pothead, but I get high, bro. Right. <laughs> I'm not, vibe, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack with niggas. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I like to talk. I talk a lot, so I'm like, that shit'll work. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just reached out to a couple people, you know what I'm saying? Got some advice and, and, and seen potential in myself and what me and Lee, our vision was. So. My drive and our vision was what kept me and me and Lee going to me personally. Yeah. What, what you think, Lee? I think I think kind of the same thing with you what you were saying, bro. And it was for me honestly, it was just a new opportunity to like get like get, get your face out there type shit. Yeah. I ain't never did nothing like this before. For sure. So. Me neither. And it was like when I first got started, like you said, how do you get rid of the like camera shot? How do you get used to that shit? It was just like, yeah, like you never really get rid of that shit. Yeah. To be honest, bro. That shit still be there sometimes. Like I be feeling weird. Like always wanting to like. <laughs> These niggas be, I be feeling like, is it weird that I just be wanting to talk? I, if you ask me, what about when y'all be watching y'all stuff on YouTube, that be like, because me, I know like, I hate being on cameras. That's yeah. what you'll probably never yeah, see on so I, I, I be feeling like, yo, I'll see one little thing and be like, bleep the whole fucking video. I'm yeah. not late for me. How y'all be seeing when y'all like, watch that stuff on YouTube? Bro? Honestly, I, I'm, I'm on the total opposite side of the fence when it comes to this camera shit than Nika is like. Mm -hmm. I'm used to this shit now. Like, yeah. like I told you, I like to talk already, so yeah. this shit ain't nothing to me. I don't mind being a center of attention. Mm -hmm. I don't mind my fucking eyes being on me. I don't mind if I chuckle or I laugh. I say some funny shit. I might burp or so. I don't. I don't. Right. That, that don't bother me, bro. Mm -hmm. It's who I am, bro. I'm the same person. I'm this. I'm this way in front of my moms, my pops. Right. A fucking job. I don't. I'm. This is me. It's right. KC. This is what you get. Right. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like. I, I never was shy about this shit. I right. just jumped on there and did it because this is what I like to do. Right. I want this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to be the face of something. I want mm -hmm. something. I'm saying I want something to be mine. Like, you feel me? I want something to be left a legacy or something. So, like, this shit don't bother me at all. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, when you first started this, your main goal is to do podcasts, right? Yeah, for sure. So, at first, like, I, as we all know, that dude was doing good. Yep. And then eventually, it starts to slow down. Yep. It takes shit, right? Yep. So now we came up to the process to do reaction vids. Like, yep. Talk about the reaction vids and how that helped your channel tremendously. You feel um, me? I would say, like you said, we started off with the podcast shit and we interviewed a ton of guys and a couple ladies from the town, bro. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, you know, Rochester only bust so big. So it's just like we were running out of options of people to interview. So we had to figure out what can we do to keep our channel growing mm -hmm. and keep the shit going and keeping our, our fans attached to the shit. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, you came up with a crazy idea because we did like before we started the UK shit. We did a reaction. I want to say of uh, I think it was Younger Ace. Yeah, Younger Ace. It was in some, a full, in a full yeah, movie. it was some funny like sneak yeah, in between each other. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah, the negativity. Yeah, the negativity shit. Cause you was just like, cause I told you told us before like you should try reaction. I'm like, nah, I ain't really what we fucking yeah. with. But we did it, and them two videos popped. You know right. what I mean? It gave us some of our most views. And then we did another reaction to like uh, some some I think it was Lamelo Ball or Lonzo Ball, one yeah. of the niggas. I yeah, think Leandro, uh, the Leandro, Leandro, yeah, it was one of the Lonzo or yeah. the, the Ball brothers that was hooping. That did some cool numbers. And then one day we just you just say yo, we should just try this this shit right here. You right. doing some UK shit, and uh, it was ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, buddy. <laughs> said some funny shit. Cheese. He said he said a weird ass bar like pull apart like string some bullshit, bro. Right. And. Uh, I cut his ass for it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and then I guess it was it targeted a whole nother audience in a whole nother part of the world. Right. So the UK niggas was commenting and violating me, and me and Lee talking about some y'all know real music. He he's a real G da 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 da. So, you know what I'm saying? We doubled back and said, fuck niggas, I don't care what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do it again. We did the top it was like a video, a top ten um UK UK, yeah. UK rappers or some shit like that at one time period in the I think it was like 2012 or some bullshit. Yeah. It was a couple tracks that was fire, so we was fucking with it. Now, after we dropped that one, that shit did crazy numbers too. And uh, people was like recommending like more recent music from right. UK. And uh, we started doing some more shit that people were recommending us to react to. Them shit was fire. Oh, yeah. So now me and Leek fucking with them and like they violated us at first, but now they fucking with right. us. And the DMs started flooding. They started following my Keeping the G with KC page on IG. They reaching out to Leek DM and Leek telling us, yo, y'all gotta react to this. They DM you. They hit niggas and it just blew. We got monetized off YouTube, got right. our first check off YouTube. Shit started blowing because right. of the whole nother audience. And believe it or not, it wasn't even from our town. That's what shocked me the most. Like, right. 
Nigga, this is in London. We got motherfuckers in UK like, yo, I'm fucking with you niggas, right? right? Our DMs go on for days. Some niggas like, yo, we fucking with y'all shit. Keep it going. Keep doing it. And I feel like that's part of the motivation too. Motherfuckers really fuck with us, bro. Nah, we're, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me ask you this. Before this, did y'all have any UK background? Like, did y'all, was y'all ever listening to any UK music? Or before, some before you recommended and before you started doing these reactions, I've never listened to UK music. Nah, so, uh, so, music sure. so let me ask you this, bro. I've listened to all this UK music. I want to say it's been a good six, seven months now, right? For sure. Like, what could you say about the UK music scene? They slept on. They slept they on. They slept on. I feel like underrated. they 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 definitely underrated, mm -hmm. and a lot of them niggas really start that started that drill shit, mm -hmm. and y'all don't even know it. You niggas think it came from New York City, and a lot of that drill shit started in London, bro. That's what oh, they do. Right. So it's just and they, they slang different. Um, um, the way they beef is different with niggas that like they they be they, right. they, they beef down there is different. Niggas do not talk blicks like that. They be out there with. Big ass machetes, right? Slicing niggas and shit like right. that. Niggas be niggas DM us mad funny shit. And then it, like a lot of the videos, some of the young rappers are smoking cigarettes and shit. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is y'all smoking? Shit? Niggas was like, nah, we got Zaza out here too. I'm like, okay, okay. Okay, so. talk about DMs and shit, right? Or the comments, cause you feel me? They was hating on y'all. What about, what would you say is the craziest comment y'all seen? If you can remember off the top of your head. Or like the crazy, like what the it just caught you off guard. I would say one comment when we first started the you uh the the, the reaction of the mm -hmm. first nigga that was ass and I, and I gave him hell. Some nigga was like, "You niggas don't know real music. Suck my dick." I'm like, "What the fuck? Like you? Yo, that, you love this that, nigga that, that, that bro? I said you love that nigga that much. I'm like, yo, you probably don't even know this man personally." You riding hard. He's a real OG. You don't know what the hell you talk about. You can really suck a dick respectfully. I said, "You niggas is crazy." Nah, that's OD. That was probably the craziest comment I heard. What you read? I ain't read no shit like that. <laughs> Man, niggas ain't gonna want to hear mine. I be reading. It be mad love. I ain't gonna lie. They just be giving opinions. A lot of people. Are, nah, one dude did send some funny shit though about that machete shit you was just talking about. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, like. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, nothing really too crazy. Alright, so now that you got to listen to UK for a minute, right? Yeah. Who would y'all say is that, like, top three? Oh, so. Top three UK. I'm gonna go, my number one right now is Fredo. Now, it ain't really in no particular order. Right. <coughs> and then I'm gonna go Abracadabra and Dave. What you leave? And I'm gonna do my, 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 my. Sleeper my, pick? Yeah, I'm gonna do another one just because I fuck with my son, Nigga D Tough. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go Abracadabra. I'm gonna go. Um, I gotta put Fredo. Top notch. And then uh, Dave definitely third. He's him. Yeah, them, them, not, them not. And then uh, there's so many of them damn yeah. uh, Daily Duppies. All if I was to go back and listen to a bunch of them Daily Duppies, I just know I've ripped, I, I remember somebody you tell. So I'm gonna just, yeah, that's my three. Right, right, no, that's definitely that's probably that's probably Hollywood. I ain't gonna lie, but that's what we know. Cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie, we ain't too we ain't too deep in that little scene. Yeah, so that's a fact. All right, now, let me ask you this, cause I, I meant to ask this a little bit earlier. Who was who? Just say is your favorite interview you have done so far? From the towns? Just in, in general, any interview you ever did. Um, one of my favorite. favorite mm -hmm. One of my favorite is always gonna be the one I had with Kai Major. Kai Major. Cause I felt like at the time mm -hmm. when I had the interview with Kai Major, it, 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 I, it was a guy that you recommended. You brought him to my crib, and I welcomed him like I always do with everybody with warm welcome mm -hmm. and respect and love. And he just came through, and he he broke down the, the different ways of how he creates his own shit. And he started from his own. Like mm -hmm. he he know how to make his own music. He do his own beats. He do his own recording. He do his own visuals. Word. Like. The way he broke it down and explained how he did it, I felt like he did his research. That's and a and it, yeah, that was one of my one. I can't. I don't have a favorite. But right. That's one of my favorite interviews for sure. Right, yeah. the nigga, he talked about how you know he came up in, in the suburbs, but it, it wasn't all. You know what I'm saying? How See, niggas, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. niggas wasn't. It wasn't how niggas thought it was. He wasn't the the richest kid. You know what I'm saying? He ain't have it like that. But right. nigga started in his dorm room and really cooked up and did his research on what he wanted to do, and he doing his thing. So right. big shouts out to Kyle, sure. bro. Wow. Or, what about you? Since bro said that one, I'ma say the um, the one we did at the barber shop where bro had the um Noah. Yeah, uh, Noah. Uh, tough. Yeah, oh, Noah. Demon time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Demon yeah. Tough. And That's I, another dude. I, I, I fuck with it. I told him. I told him why I didn't fuck with the name. I kept it a buck with him yeah. too. And I told him like, you know what I'm saying? My faith. I, I can't represent nothing like that. But I understood the message behind it. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? And bro was he he was smart. You know what I'm yep. saying? He was extremely educated in what he was doing. Yep. A lot of the back scene thing. And that's kind of my. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. That that kind of 
that that trend, that role he on with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of back end work, taking right. the middleman out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then getting into a business because he low key, he low key crawling for some niggas to walk one day. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause, for generation. Yeah, and then he just, he he put us on the mad shit behind the scenes yeah. that we didn't it really did, know, and we yeah. still ain't kind of tipped our toe in there with it. But it's it's in the it's in yep. the thinking process. It's in the works. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? We thinking about it differently versus yep. when we first started because we would have we would have definitely did a lot of that. That Same falling, yep. failing and yep. shit, you know what I'm saying? He helped us probably save who who knows what. That, that's just, time that's just priceless. It's, it's really priceless, bro. It's Drop love. gems for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I appreciate that one for real. And that was one of my favorite ones too because it was like, he didn't he didn't have no college degree to get nothing that yeah, he started. He started, he, like started YouTube off in University. The nigga said, bro, niggas didn't need to go to school for fashion. He got his idea. He took the money that Trump gave niggas, them 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 um what's some oh, stimulus yeah, checks. Yes, them yeah. stimulus checks, he abused his, his his money and took advantage of it, went to New York City and he went to go touch, physically touch the fabric that he was trying to, you know what I'm saying, supply. And I was fucking with that, so that was another. I got another one too, though, bro. Zella, I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, Zella is another yeah, bro, under, one, underground one rapper, tough, bro. Bro, that shit. And then, like I said, the the behind the scene, bro. Yeah. Bro played us like some unreleased His unreleased shit, shit was that different. Shit was he still ain't dropped that Zella. What we yeah, waiting on? What want, Say bro. says whatever you want us to call you, big dog. Where is it at? That is, that is here. Them shit. I want some pressure, bro. Nah, we're, we're. Um, and another one of uh, my um. My um interview I had with my my uncle, my OG, the OG. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first episode I came around. Yeah, the first one we brought best on. The OG episode was fire. Right, I was yeah, fucked with that. I was fucked. We was definitely man. vibing. Like, yeah. I feel I feel like that type of shit. Like when future goes, like, we'd be having like a, at a poker table or some shit, or just doing I ain't our gonna lie, tours, like, talking that shit. And like when that. we when we really reach the like the top tier peak for our shit, bro, mm -hmm. I imagine us on the yacht on the back of the yacht with some big ass backies talking to like. Brawny or something, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Get right. interviews with me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Niggas fucking with us like that. That's what I. That's what I vision for us, bro. Right. I see us on the back of one of our yachts, whatever. Where? Big ass backies, or you know what I'm saying? Right. Sipping some mimosas with Beyonce and Jay Z or some funny shit or something. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> talk about, that, talk, that talk about God. getting interviews and stuff like that, right? I know everybody you guys reach out to is not always like it might be somebody might cap on y'all yeah. or somebody might not respond to y'all or they might not respect y'all brand. How y'all go about taking that like with stuff, certain stuff like that? I don't take none of that shit personal. Yeah, that I ain't shit, that shit, that shit I'm gonna lie, I ain't run into that too much. So if if, if I, it is there at the, at this point, I feel like when you start anything, bro, you can't you can't go off of other people's opinions anyways. Right. Mm -hmm. And even if shit was to blow up, you can't put your yeah young. Like, that can't be your standard, you know right. what I'm saying? Because people build you up just to tear you down, bro. Yeah, you got to remember who you is at the end of the day. We built it something that we felt was dear and near, right. you know what I'm saying? We standing on that with God God first, you know what I'm saying? And we, sure. just gonna, we keep growing, bro. That's sure. all it's about, bro. Well, we we want to fail in some shit, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So we, that's okay. That's just how we going to learn, bro. Me personally, best, I don't, I don't take that shit personal, bro. Like... I'm I'm so focused on what I got going, bro. That shit don't even make right. me mad, cause I know, like, and I had times where motherfuckers when I first started, I reached out to a couple motherfuckers. They even left me on red. Them same motherfuckers that left me on red hit me for interviews right now. Right. You know what I'm saying, like, so what goes around comes around. I know right. y'all just waiting for my shit to pop. And y'all cause, 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 cause sometimes, cause with me, bro, sometimes I be feel like. Regularly, some of these niggas, they be too big headed sometimes. Yeah, so that, for sure. So, like, you'll let be a fan of their music or some shit like yeah. that, and then you'll meet them, like, on some real, like, one and you'll be like, I don't even fuck with this like that no more as much yeah. as I did. Like, you ever run into situations like that? No, I have, I probably, pretty much the opposite to happen to me, to be yeah. honest with you. Like, the J. Ray Cash nigga I, I, I was listening to from Buffalo. Yeah. Like, I was bumping his music for a minute. My man's uh, put me on his music a couple years ago, bro. And because I like I always say I went to school out in Buffalo, so I was I was bumping this shit, bro. And like I hit you, you told me you got his IG, you sent me his IG. I hit the nigga personally. He said, yeah, for sure we can we can link up and do whatever. And like the same way I introduce people when they come to my crib, he showed me love out there. You know right. what I'm saying? With no problems, we walked up right into a studio and yeah. and we did that shit. And he ain't charged me shit. It was just all genuine love, bro. So I, I would say I had pretty much the opposite, bro. I ain't had too many niggas I fuck with musically really turn me down. All right. mm -hmm. And now, now we talk about it, right? So you say you went out to Buffalo and shit. Like 
you know, sometimes people will try to put you in that bracket as a local interviewer, like a yeah. local brand, you feel me? Yeah. And you don't even get local support. You mentioned that earlier, the yeah. local people wasn't really supporting you like that. How do you feel about that? Did it get to, like, I know at one point in time, you guys want to take over Rochester. Is that, is that still the same goal now? Absolutely. Or, like, or y'all be like, okay, I forget Rochester, I can take over the world, and Rochester's going to catch on later. I'm not even really so so stuck on the point of taking over. I'm just like, nah, I'm yeah. adding. I'm yeah, adding. Yeah, like, I'm we adding. Just, like, we just literally put in our footprint yeah. in, the, in the cement. I ain't, I ain't trying to take you know nothing over. There's so many of us in the town that's doing yeah, our thing yeah, on YouTube, bro. Shout them out. Let them know, bro. I, I fuck don't know with you watching. Right, I ain't going to say I just fuck with niggas, but I'm just, I see a lot of niggas on, uh, like, my boy Bill. Shout out to Bills. He's been doing this thing for a minute. He's been a funny guy since high school. We've been fucking with Bills. No, bro, uh, I fuck with the London Way nigga that got his thing going on. I fuck with that, jo that Jonathan nigga that got his shit going on when he doing all the managing with the pies and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, M.E.K.J., yeah. Yeah, I fuck with bro. I fuck with, uh, what's yeah. his name? Nigga that be doing all the pies. ZQ doing this thing in the time. It's a lot of niggas doing, Low right. Beck doing this thing. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, so many man. niggas that's out here doing their thing in the town. Sorry if I miss some of y'all. But it's mad niggas. It's mad bro. niggas, bro. Like, it, I feel like I feel like we represent what, and we want to keep it like that. Like even though it may not be what rocks, because we understand how it is, bro. Because we was a part of that. You know what right. I'm saying? We seen shit. Like we see some shit that maybe not be what niggas want to watch. Right. I'm not gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. So we probably not what niggas want to watch right now. Mm -hmm. right. And we just want to keep working. You know what I'm saying? That's all okay. it is. And I there's mean, so much hate going on in the towns. I, I right, don't want. Do I don't want to be it's supposed, trying to take, take over us. nothing. I just want to add. Bro, I want everybody to be unity. Bro, everybody putting together, us, bro. bro. Okay, yeah. let me ask you this because you feel me. It took y'all a minute to get four. No, it didn't even take y'all a long time to get four thousand subscribers. But, yeah. but it was a long road. And sometimes y'all was like, "Damn, how do I get some views?" Right? Yeah, so, yeah. honestly, I talk, feel like that shit flew. Bro. It shit flew. Nah, tell me what the most difficult part about being a YouTuber or a podcast. Like the most difficult part about this, like. People only see the views, they think it came over a night type mm -hmm. shit. What was the most difficult part for y'all? I feel like the most difficult part for me personally was A, the consistency because I have a full-time job and mm -hmm. shit like that. I got other shit going on and I had to figure out Ways to abandon um, both of them. Yeah, basically cut out time just to do this for. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wish I could do this shit all the time. Full time, right? If I if this shit paid me enough, I would quit my job and do this shit right. full time. But it's not there yet, so I mean that's really what I find most difficult as far as like getting the views I respected. I just stay true to who I am and just wait my turn, bro. Like, and just figure out, all right, what's my niche? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't, basically, I just threw a bunch of shit at the wall. Whatever stuck and the fans was fucking with and people loved the most out of what I was doing, I got the most views out of. I stuck with that and still did a little something that I really, right, I, right, I, I, right. True Guns, which right. was the podcast slash interview shit. So right. we still still do those, right. but whenever we get somebody to commit to an interview, but our our, our, our reactions, we doing them shits every week. Right. We ain't gonna miss those, you right. feel what I'm saying? We doing those and give y'all something every week because right. that's what the fans want to see. That's what keep us relevant. That's what keeping the subscribers going up. So we're giving the people what they want right now. Um, we trying something new. Hopefully that shit blow. Check us out on Keeping the G with KC. Mm -hmm. uh, we on YouTube right now. Check us out. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Show love, bro. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. What about you, Lee? What did you say was the most difficult part? I'll say it was, at least for me, it was like getting comfortable with kind of just like talking to people about, you know what I'm saying, they, they grind or like find out or just off the rip, you know what I'm saying? Just not nothing scripted, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And just... Kind of vibing with that, and then trusting the process too, bro. Cause mm -hmm. like I'm saying, we ain't know where, we ain't know what we wanted to do, mm -hmm. but we know we ain't want to like not stop. We just wanted mm -hmm. to make sure we kept being on top of it, like being creative, finding new ways to do shit. And I, I want to say it's a part that was like difficult, mm -hmm. but the most challenging probably. I'll say mm -hmm. it's like just figuring, figuring shit out on the fly, cause mm -hmm. you ain't got. You only got but so much time to dedicate to it before you know you, you know what I mean. Other priorities and shit start mm -hmm. coming into play. And, you know, you want to make sure you're getting your quality while you while you working, you feel me? So sure. we be managing that. I asked y'all a lot about YouTube, what's going on with the podcast here, right? So yeah. let's, let's give them a chance to know a little bit about y'all, you feel me, right? Okay. Like, mm -hmm. y'all, y'all, I see y'all like to get drippy and shit. What's some of your shit y'all like to rock, bro? Like, what's, your, some of, what's in y'all um, arsenal, basically? I'm a cap guy, right. you know what I'm saying? I like hats, I got a billion. I wish Y'all go check my channel out, man. Y'all gonna see all types. Me and Lee got the crazy hats, bro. Mm -hmm. We fuck no, with the hats heavy. Sure. Um, I like shit anti-social. I fuck with the Balenci's on feet. I like Dunks. I like Jays. Uh, yeah. I like the purple jeans. I like Serende jeans. I'm a short type of nigga in the summer, but I stay with a cap on. I stay with a fitted. Yeah. Um, I'm simple, bro. I don't really. You know what I'm saying that's really uh, my drip. I little. You know what I'm saying a little shit here and there. Right. Como they got his own hair and there. Mm -hmm. um, 
In the summertime, shorts and white tee always. You can't go wrong with no white ups. Uh, go check out my go check out my drip, man. Y'all see me in the book and on IG, man. Mm -hmm. I put that shit on for real, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's really what I fuck with. I'm a sweatsuit mm -hmm. guy too. Mm -hmm. I wear a lot of sweatsuits. I got a lot of sweatsuits. I wear my own. I keep my shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't be popping off with my shit like that, bro. I be I dress simple too though. Mm -hmm. Favorite kicks, probably Air Force One. New York shit, there's New yeah, Air Simple Force shit. Ones. You know. Probably Jordan 6, that's the best Jordan. Nah, you sleep. That's the best Jordan. I, I fuck with 11s. I fuck with. No, not the best Jordan. You sleep with they not. That's, I they fuck go with 6, them. 1, 3, then probably. Wait, hey, I don't even own a pair of ones. I like, I like the 4s. 4s is tough. My favorite 4s is probably the military 4s. Mm. I fuck with 4s. I fuck with the 11s. I fuck with 7s. And. That's probably it. I'm probably about oh, three right now. That's far. Okay, when y'all not doing YouTube, you're not doing podcasts, you're not cooling. What what do y'all be into, bro? Because I don't think they know that side of y'all. Uh, me, I'm into sports. So I watch basketball. I'm Who's your team? Uh, who I don't got a team. My, my, my guy is LeBron right now. I fuck mm -hmm. with LeBron, and I like football. My favorite team, the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Um, I work a lot. I work overnight. So I work at FedEx, so uh, I get money. You know? mm -hmm. uh, off camera, I'm trying to worry about getting this bag. Mm -hmm. Generational mm -hmm. wealth. That's really what I'm on right now. Right. Leak be just, I'll be out the way, bro. Right. I'll be That's just telling. I work too. I got my, I'll be driving and shit. I drive trucks. Feel me? And uh, I'll be, be cooking up myself because I'll be rapping too, bro. But right. I just ain't never. I ain't never tech. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. I don't know, bro. I'm still. Soon know, come, soon Yeah, come, absolutely. Soon no, it's not even. I'm just, I'm still. Perfecting up, all that. Yeah. So. Nah, I definitely respect it. Definitely respect that. Just building up so, all that too. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all got 4K subscribers in less than a year, I would say. It was yeah. about almost a year, like probably a couple of days, from for real, for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what are some of y'all goals for like the rest of the year? Like, what do you have a certain number of goals? Do you got a certain amount of subscribers you want to hit at the end of the year? At the end or, of the year, or do you got like. I don't really per se, I got a specific number right now, but I definitely got goals I want to accomplish for, for our business before the end of the year. Like, right. yeah. I want to make sure we LLC our shit. Right. I want to get a trademark on our name so nobody could copy that shit. I want to get this clothing line booming for our shit. I want to get some more t-shirts booming for our shit. I want to get a website to do all that shit on. I want to get a fucking radio station slash studio going on in the towns before we get all that shit done. Right. But before the end of the year, like, it's a lot of shit I want to right. do. So that's just a couple of the gems right. I got right mm -hmm. now. I ain't going to give y'all too much. But mm -hmm. I'm big shit coming, bro. So don't be don't be, don't be be surprised if y'all see us right next to WDKX with one of the craziest radio stations in the town. Right. So that's, that's my focus. Say for you, Lee. So you just said rate like radio station. Is that the ultimate goal you want to see keeping GKC on the radio, or you always like to be more like a YouTube platform? Like, well, nah, fuck. I don't want to I say. say I, fuck. I'm not gonna cap. We don't want to cap. We don't know what it is yet. Mm. That, that, that's a, that's that's what every that's what everybody do. You right. never know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm not trying to put no cap on that radio. Is is radio? It's you just an idea. You know, like I said, I got my my brain don't stop working. But right. I'm always thinking of the next thing to help us push. So that could be a part of it. I want to do like some Slash Breakfast Club type shit one day maybe. You know, nah, I never know, you know what I'm saying? And I could still be on YouTube, but also on the radio. Nah, you know what I mean? I could, the way this shit I'm thinking, it could all collab into one. It's not one specific thing all I right. want to do. I don't know what else. I just want to do one specific thing. I just got a lot of shit I want to okay, do. Okay, okay. Let me ask you this question right here, right? Give me five local people y'all want to interview, and then give me five like famous people, like not from the town that y'all want to interview too. Let's see if we can get them on the channel after That's they hear y'all say anything. It ain't tough for me. I got a lot of ideas. You want me to go? Yeah. I want to do it. Major League Polo. Stop hiding from me, bro. Right, so that's stop, stop ducking, Major League. Me, me and Bills and League had some shit stewed already, but it didn't go as I planned, so it never got aired. Yeah, so I want to redo again. that one the right way with right. you as my cameraman right. this time. Um, I want to get Gumbo on this bitch. Um, I want to get Dini on this bitch. Um, one more local. My son Rico, bro. I gotta see what Rico talking about. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, talk Rico. Talk Niggas don't even know about what's his what's his rap name? G and B Rico. G and B Rico, some yeah, shit like that. Rico. Young Rico, shout out shout to Rico, bro. bro. Mm -hmm. Them yeah. some the five that I want in town to come fuck with me. Yeah. Um and you say industry or whoever. Uh, yeah, whoever, like my favorite rapper of all time, I wanna interview. I wanna interview Fab. Word. I gotta interview. If I could do that. That is solidify <laughs> my goals as far as doing this interview shit on, right. on YouTube. Right. I got to solidify one of those. I, w I know this nigga don't do interviews, but Hov, of course. I want to talk to Hov. Right. Um, I want to see what the fuck Kanye got to say to the niggas. Um, who else? 
I would like to interview. I don't know. That's probably my three right now. Wait, that's I ain't gonna three? lie. Yeah, I what about you, Lee? What you got? Uh, I gotta say my son Rico Bills. I'm gonna say um. From the town, who else we can interview? Damn, damn, damn. And you can't do no more local gold major. Uh. I'm gonna say I want to interview. I want to bring Wallow on here. Wallow, yes. Wallow. that's what that's what Wallow and Gilly. I want them to interview Wallow. Wallow. Yeah, for sure. Who else? I want to Mav Carter. Mm -hmm. I want to interview. Let me see. Brownie. Bino. No, Blast. Blast. My son Blast. Oh, that's all right. Blast. Yeah, he's yeah, an R&B artist. He talk. Yeah, yeah. Let me see who else. Um, good interview. I'll probably say, damn. That's a dumb thing. I, I can't think That's of my name. Right? Man, I hate when I got a name. <laughs> name shit. Yeah. Don't, don't be mad if we don't mention y'all. Ain't no. Nah, no there's mad shit. people from now nah, from the town. I'm really yeah. thinking though, cause it's uh, my son Tay, Dante oh, yeah. Carruthers. Dante yeah, Carruthers. Yeah, Tay, oh, yeah. yeah, we gotta get Tay on here. Yes. Probably. I want to do another interview with my son Dallas. Yes, yeah, part two. Cool. Yes. Gotta get, my, gotta my get those cool. guys. Gotta get those niggas on there. I don't know if they see us today, but they come on the channel. Yeah, other just people. come on, keep it G with KC and Lee, man. Come I was on. mad. It's mad people though. I ain't gonna lie. It's just we everybody be, you know what I'm saying? We everybody, know, everybody be, be, yeah. every, be having their own shit nah, going on. We do too. So, so we about to come to the end of this, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, is there anything I want to let the people know, like where to follow you on social media, or anything y'all want? Hell do? yeah, bro. Go follow my you. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel first of all. Mm -hmm. Keeping it G with KC, man. We get we on we on YouTube right now. Show love. Go smash that subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good love. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we on um IG with Keeping It G on IG. Go follow that page. And then my personal is Javon underscore Jackson zero two. Go follow that one. And uh, just show love, bro. Get us, get us go, get us lit, bro. Run that shit up. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, definitely. Well, sure, you gonna get IG? I don't be on IG like <laughs> that. Man. My socials, but it's just lit. You know what I'm saying? For like KC said, man, come check us out on there. I'll be posting on my IG, my gram this year, man. I turn a quarter, so I might post some shit there. Best, you going, you going, you going to take my pictures, bro? So. I got you. I got you. <laughs> man, bro. All right, wait, wait. but now nah, shout out Best Queen TV for the interview, bro. Yeah, yeah shout bro. out to Best Queen TV. Shout out to Best, man. man. It's your first interview, right? First interview. Oh, yeah, we never bad. had an interview. Shout out to Best Point of View uh, TV for giving us our first bro. interview and to getting us lit on YouTube. He, he the part fact. of the reason why we up where we at right now. Shout out yeah, to Best. Best is a man, He the almighty. Even Wall though out. he is ass and ass. <laughs> and 2K, he don't ever want to see it. He know what happened with the 2K. Which y'all don't give forget. I control what goes on in this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I control the internet. It's crazy. Well, we out though. Man. I know, I know bro. Check it, check it. Trials and tribulations. I'm just trying to live my life, hoping to make the right decisions. Cause I wanna live it right. I remember nights, no sleep, feeling weaker than seven days. Now I'm using my clever ways to make sure my song's getting played. But these niggas doubt me, they think I'm not gonna make it. But soon I'm gonna be rich and happy, and girl getting naked. I promise you, I'm the best of Pink Nike. I'm on the rise, smoking dope, and I'm getting high. Spirit, she floating to the sky. I wonder, is they go think I'm a joke because.